hi what's good in today's video we're going to be creating a creative jota uh in corridor 2021 so without further ado let's step into it let's get over to this plan and change it to a5 it's in a5 already so what we need to do is to go ahead to your uh what's it called rectangle tool click on that then draw an object on top of the uh what's it called drawing page change it to white then good so right now what we are going to do next is to go over and create you know what's it called you know pull this object up just like so then you right click to copy paste after that right click convert to curve then let's use our shape to add a node in between right here then you pull it down just like so after all of that release your mouse make a copy center it within the previous one so right now make a copy upward just like that again right click copy paste then oh shift key select the other one then you trim good we are good to go so right now let's change this to uh yellow good so what we're gonna be doing now is to power clip this uh object into place just like this so make it bigger good so right click on this place set the color to uh none likewise the background good so let's select the whole thing group it all up per clip into place into the main background go ahead to your uh hold on your hotkey select the uh object then release your hotkey then try to really you know uh fit it in just like so good so right now let's put a clip the picture itself into place then hold out key adjust then drag it down good <coughs> so right now what we need that to do next is to go ahead go right inside that word key and group all of that we out key just start a little bit good so what we need to do is to go ahead to uh, the type document in which we have which is this so it's typed already what we need to do is to just you know copy right from here and from here appreciation mm -hmm. and all of that so before we do that let's just make a copy of this you know congratulation or your graduation as a nurse cut that control x then you go over to corridor use your control v to paste it okay good so right now change it to uh, black so what we're gonna be doing now is to just you know uh, drag this closer let's go ahead right there to change the direction of the what's it called image let's make it a little bit you know board good nice So it controls to break that into pieces, make it bigger. So right now what we are going to do now is to go ahead and just change the what's it called the font to uh Futura C. So after all of that, let's break it right from here. Good. So use your shape tool and create a tracking just like so. So what we're gonna do, hit OK right from there then you hit ctrl k to break it into pieces so after all of this so let's go over and just change that uh, to hello paris good make it bigger so right now what we need to do is to hit ctrl k again then let's change this to uh let's leave it as that then let's put it all up as a nurse go over to shape to 
reduce the tracking just like so so after all of that so let's go ahead and just change this to capital letter good so let's reduce this a little bit or better still let's use a uh, what's it called Futura T then let's make it capital letter good so reduce that a little bit position it just like so good so what we're gonna be doing now is to uh, create an object right here then let's give it a round corner so let's leave that as wide then go ahead let's uh, bring the test forward just like so boarding it good center it within the object good so let's position this on top of the design just like so after all of that change that to white position that you know right to the right of the that space so right now what we need to do let's just make this object a little bit smaller good the rest of the top let's make it black black go ahead to double click right here then make the whole of all of this you know a darker background it's okay good so let's go right inside the object then let's blend it all up right from here just like so good convert to bitmap that's a while for that to initiate good so right now let's position this just like so good so what we're going to be doing now is to just you know reduce this a little bit good change it to white enter right from here then let's go ahead and change this to try down reduce that good it's control k to break it into pieces then let's position this upward good set the outline to white likewise this so what we're gonna be doing now let's change this to yellow then let's go ahead and just create you know a design right there change it to white go ahead and zoom it all up click once again just squeeze that make it copy downward wet it all up good nice one reduce make it copy forward just like so it repeats good group that all up dry closer then flip this to the other side right click to copy paste then go ahead and group it all up center it within the test and the graduation good center the congratulation alongside good so right now let's position the name so what we're gonna be doing now is to enter right from here change it to uh, what's it called Futura T enter right from here as well so it control K to break it into pieces then let's go ahead and uh, change this to a uh, title case good go ahead and change that to Edward so let's make it bigger drag this draw good 
so what we're gonna be doing let's make this bolder we have to let the picture bigger as well good 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 reduce this so what we're gonna be doing now is to reduce this a little bit or better still let's go right to inside that we have to blow this a little bit go ahead to what's it called effects Gaussian blur good That's nice so let's go ahead and zoom it all up so right now what we're gonna be doing is to position the name right click then let's go ahead and just uh, make the diamond a bit bigger position it upward then the rest of the what's it called good Let's reduce the picture a little bit. I think this is nice. So bring this down a little bit. Good. Likewise this. Good. So what we're gonna be doing now is to go ahead and just uh, on F12 let's stick in the outline of that it's okay let's make it uh, 2 it's okay good good so what we need to do now is to go ahead and just you know let's increase the tracking just like so a little bit then let's go ahead and uh, go over to objects comforts offline to object then select the whole thing what it all up again good so let's go ahead and just uh, use our interactive view to let's create very unique design right there change it to grayscale good drag it down good right click on white set the outline to white after that it's f12 so let's make it one point check on that check on uh behind field it's okay good so what we're gonna be doing now is to select the whole thing all together group it all up go ahead make a copy then let's set the outline to black so good so let's go ahead it's on f12 let's make the rest of the outline 16 for better still let's use uh, 5 good center all of this within that's good zoom down a bit so what we need us to do is to go ahead let's make it you know uh, 10 or 12 points so go ahead and make it you know <coughs> this map so after all of that let's go ahead to uh, what's it called objects or if you had look at you know blur or sham blur 
good it's okay so let's go ahead to adjust tone curve good zoom down a bit select the whole thing reduce that a little bit so let's position this very closer to it it shouldn't be uh, far to that so let's change this to uh, yellow okay good so right now what we need to do is to copy this layer to the back after we have gotten that let's go ahead and extract the content then let's go ahead and change the color to uh, this color right click set the frame to remove frame good so right now what you need to do is to create you know an object right at the back change that to six the angle to six then let's go ahead and make it 180 let's it's okay change that to white center it within the object good right click to set outline to none then let's go ahead and reduce that make a copy in word go ahead to your what's it called interactive field to no it uh, transparency to make it uniform good 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 so right now what we did what we need to do next to go ahead copy uh, the appreciation ctrl x then go over to your uh, what it call the page then select you know test to range it just like so then copy paste ctrl v good go ahead and change the font of Turati then give it center alignment good so what we need us to do now is to go ahead and just make that background yellow a better still let's turn it down a little bit then let's cut the position good so go ahead and make that Edward make it bigger a little bit right click to set the outline to black go ahead and put that closer then let's change that to 12 points it's okay good so let's reduce all of this So we are done. So here is the finish line of what we are doing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button so that you can benefit from what we have shared so far. As I always say in this channel, uh, we'll see you in the next uh, episode. Bye for now.